few videos ago, I built up this Fractal Terra with a 14600K and I showed how to undervolt it with a B760i board. Didn't age well uh, with the Intel issues that surfaced, but the good news is that the undervolting actually still works. Welcome to Machines More. I want to do a quick follow-up today on the B760i undervolting for the 13th and 14th gen K chips. As a quick refresher, I did this build with a 14600K and while you usually can't do this with a non-Z motherboard, switching to the 0x104 microcode allows the user to dial in a voltage offset without negatively affecting the performance. So recently you may have heard certain Intel 13th and 14th gen CPUs have had issues related to too high voltage. Motherboard partners have been rolling out BIOS and microcode updates related to the particular fix that Intel has uh, deployed. And I installed the latest version 1663 BIOS for the ASUS B760 ITX board. That's intended to patch the issue and that now runs on the 0x129 microcode. And with that installed, I was afraid the 0x104 option would go away, but in fact, it is still there. Uh, you can still select that option and dial in an offset and it still works well. It still performs better than the stock microcode for Cinebench R23 multi-core and for Blender. Uh, these results are with a 0.15 volt negative offset and you do get a bit better performance because even though you're not overclocking the chip by giving it more power, the voltage curve it's still changed so that the chip clocks in faster or higher at the same power level. Keep in mind, with the small cooler that has to be used in this case, it's hitting thermal throttle almost instantly. So it's not a huge reason to use the 14600K in this case for productivity use cases, but strictly speaking, you do get more performance. Of course, you could set a power limit if you wanted to proactively reduce the power draw instead of waiting for that to kick in as these chip thermal throttles. So gaming is where you'll see the reduced power consumption. Just a quick test with Far Cry 6, which is a fairly CPU sensitive title versus the 0x129 microcode. It's drawing about 30 watts lower power here. And given that it was getting pretty close to thermal throttle to begin with, I think this may be the only way to get it to work acceptably in this case with a small cooler like this. And you will see a bit better performance due to the higher clocks as well. We're looking at about four to 5% boost in the average uh, FPS. One concern you might have is, is this safe? So there's always going to be risk when you don't use the current microcode. So user beware. But as far as the voltage level goes, based on my testing, it is going to be lower than even the 0 by 129 current microcode. Uh, the issues with the previous microcode that was causing issues was the V core spiking to 1.5 volts and above. So I don't have any concerns for over volting here. So it still works uh, while the 14600K and perhaps more so the 13600K are good gaming options right now for the price. I still don't enthusiastically recommend this particular setup in this case, just due to the cooling limitations from this case. But just know that if you wanna do it for a gaming build with a B760i like I have here, it's in fact still something you can do. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you give a like and are subscribed for more great content. Build components down below. Big thanks for watching.